All right, we're back with the final step. Uh, I'm gonna put yellow over the Alclad Chrome. What I like to use is Tamiya paint. Um, their clear coats are very nice. I like the way it works out. But when you go over Alclad, you gotta thin them out. So they have this thinner for uh, Tamiya paint. It works out really well. Um, you don't have to really go crazy making a big mixture of these two because it's only just two small bracers. So what I usually do is if you can look in here, you can see it's pretty thick. And spraying yellow over anything with just out of the bottle is going to come out like that color. So you really do have to thin it down. So basically what I like to do is just uh, throw some in there. Get thinner. I put a lot in, just enough. Got to kind of get this watery in a way. You don't want to put too much. And... Depending on what you want to use, I use a Q-tip, kind of just push it in there, squeeze it in a little bit because you want to get the water, you don't want to pull it all out. Alright, so basically, uh, there you go, so... Just want to make sure I'm getting yellow, make sure it's coming out, you know, make sure I mixed enough. So I'm looking, I'm getting pretty good. Okay. So, what we'll do is we'll zoom in a little bit here. Pop this on. And you just want to go light. You want to go spray heavy because the thinner could react to the alkaline chrome if you do spray heavy. So you just kind of want to mist it on and go slow. even you don't want to stick to one spot so you want to just keep building it up and depending on how yellow you want it you keep going and I want these pretty yellow I mean, if this is the way you like it and you don't want to go too crazy, you want just kind of a tint, you can go that way. Um, but I really want these yellow. And it takes a little bit of time. I want to go crazy. Definitely don't want to rush it. Good, so we'll put this on again.
corner. That's how you outclad chrome with a uh, color. Um, the reason why you thin it out and you do the way I did it is because if you don't and you spray it really thick out of the bottle, you get little spurts of paint. And that's what you don't want to do. But So as you can see, got a nice yellow chrome, very shiny. You get a mirror effect. It's all nice and even. And then once this dries, you clear, uh, you just clear coat it with the uh, uh, Future Flora polish, um, and then from there you can paint over that. Uh, the reason why I spray it all around is it's very easy just to paint all over that. So basically, what I'll show you is all right. So once you um, clear coat it and you want to paint over, you need to score it. So the 3M sandpaper that I have here to find this stuff, what you can do is you can cut off little tiny pieces. Um, but brand new, it's kind of tough, so you want to use a little bit of it and you know work on the statue and get it nice and soft and a little bit worn. Um, the better worn parts are what you want to use. And then what you can do is you can kind of just scrape up the statue a little bit nice and fine around the areas here and then you can just paint over that and the paint will stick because it's scored so then this is clear coated and it's safe and you could just put um, stuff around it any kind of masking you want and then there you go so that's pretty much how I uh, alkyl chrome hopefully these videos helped you out any questions let me know